Is the lion's roar a symbol of unbridled power, or is it a strategic tool to maintain its status as the jungle's ruler? Does the lion truly reign supreme, or are there other contenders in the jungle that give it a run for its money? We often associate lions with dominance, but is their reputation justified? Have we crowned the lion as the king of the jungle out of awe-inspiring majesty, or is it merely a case of overrated regality? When you hear the term king of the jungle, you probably immediately think of the lion. But why is that? In this video, we will get to the bottom of why the lion is called the king of the jungle in the first place, and whether this title is even justified. But what do you think? Does the lion deserve to bear the title of king? Let me know in the comments. Now let's get started. The term king of the jungle has its roots in both cultural symbolism and zoological misrepresentation. Originally, the phrase was likely coined by early explorers and colonizers who observed lions in African grasslands, not jungles. Lions with their majestic manes and regal demeanor became powerful symbols of strength and royalty in various cultures. In Western societies, this association between lions and kings can be traced back to biblical and historical references. Lions are mentioned in religious texts and were often used as symbols of power and majesty by rulers. As European explorers ventured into Africa, encountering lions in savannas, the term king of the jungle began to take hold, even though lions are not native to jungles. The phrase further embedded itself in popular culture through literature, art, and later, in the age of cinema. Iconic characters like the cowardly lion in The Wizard of Oz reinforced the cultural perception of lions as majestic rulers. Animated films like The Lion King solidified the association between lions and kingship for a global audience. Despite the biological inaccuracy, the allure of the phrase King of the Jungle endures perpetuating the image of lions as supreme rulers in the wild. This cultural significance has contributed to the widespread perception that lions are the ultimate kings of the animal kingdom. Lions are among the most powerful predators, capable of taking down large prey such as wildebeests and zebras. The majestic mane of a male lion is a symbol of maturity and dominance, contributing to their regal aesthetic. Their golden coats and formidable size enhance their visual appeal, portraying a sense of royalty. The roar of a lion is often associated with power and authority, adding to their regal aura. Lions exhibit a complex social structure, living in groups called prides, typically led by a dominant male. Cooperation within prides allows for efficient hunting and defense, showcasing a sophisticated social hierarchy. The bond within a lion pride reflects a sense of family and duty, reinforcing the image of a noble and protective ruler. While the king of the jungle may be a misnomer given their preference for savannas over jungles, the combination of these characteristics has solidified the lion's reputation as a symbol of regality and power in cultures worldwide. Although the lion is one of the strongest predators, there are other animals that rival it in terms of strength. For example, tigers, cape buffaloes, hippos or elephants. Tigers are the largest big cats, often outweighing lions, and with also sharper teeth, claws, and a stronger bite force. Known as one of the big five in Africa, cape buffaloes are highly unpredictable and aggressive. Their formidable horns and strong herd mentality make them a challenging adversary even for a group of lions. Hippos are also highly aggressive, their powerful jaws, large canine teeth and thick skin make them formidable opponents. Elephants, the largest land animals, are not traditional predators, but their size and strength make them a force to be reckoned with. In certain situations, elephants may assert dominance and pose a threat to predators, including lions. But of course, strength is not the only aspect by which one can decide whether the lion deserves the title of king. To discuss and compare different aspects and categories, such as strength, speed or intelligence, would make little sense anyway, since there are always animals that are one step ahead of the lion there. Be it elephants in terms of pure strength, or cheetahs in terms of speed. For this reason, we should take a closer look at the aspect that gives the lion the title of king in the first place. 
his mentality and leadership. Lions are highly social animals and live in groups called prides. The pride is usually led by a dominant male lion known as the king or pride leader. The lion's ability to maintain social order within the pride and coordinate group activities is a testament to its leadership qualities. Male lions, as pride leaders, play a crucial role in protecting the pride territory and its members from potential threats. The lion's courage and willingness to confront dangers head-on contribute to its reputation as a formidable leader. Lions are skilled hunters and often work together in coordinated efforts to take down prey. The pride leader's ability to organize and lead hunting expeditions showcases its strategic thinking and decision-making skills. Lions are territorial animals, and the pride leader asserts dominance over a specific territory, defending it against rival prides and potential threats. The lion's ability to establish and maintain territorial dominance adds to its portrayal as a powerful and regal figure. The pride leader typically has mating rights with the lionesses in the pride, contributing to the propagation and survival of the species. The lion's ability to ensure reproductive success and the continuation of its genetic lineage reinforces its status as a dominant figure. As we can see, the characteristics of the lion correspond to those of a king as he exists in the real world. He is decisive, he protects his kingdom and keeps order. Of course, there are also other animal species that live together in groups and live together in a coordinated manner. But we should not compare the lion with these other animals. The lion should be considered individually, as a comparison with other animals makes little sense. The lion itself does not have much to do with other animals. Therefore, the title king should only be used within one's own pride, and the lion should not be seen as a king to the totality of all animals. After all, a king only rules over his own kingdom and not over all of them. Now, to answer the actual question of the video, does the lion deserve the title of king of the jungle? Yes, he does. Nevertheless, we have to be careful with the definition. As already mentioned, he is not a king in the sense that he is the strongest of all animals and rules over all animals. The lion is king in the sense that he has a strong mentality and an excellent leadership role within his own pride, as it befits a king in real life. If you also think that the lion deserves the title of king, then subscribe to this channel. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in again next time because there, we're going to talk about one of the strongest lion species that have ever existed. I'll link this video here as soon as I finish it. In the meantime, feel free to check out my other videos on this channel. Until next time.